脆肉灣乳腩粉絲煲 ，clams and crunchy cup fish belly vermicelli pot。This is a delicious and appetizing dish. My family loves to eat this cooking. The meat of crunchy cut fish is delicate, yet the texture is crunchy. It is a whole new experience in eating fish. Fresh water fish selling, grass cup fish, and crunchy cup fish. If you need to buy crunchy cup fish, let the fish seller know that. As grass cup and crunchy grass cup fish looks the same, clams in the seafood section in the market. Stems of garlic versus bulbs of garlic, as not many people know the difference. Chili bean sauce and hoisin sauce. After rinsing and washing clams, soak clams in salt water for 30 minutes. Tofu soak into salt water for 30 minutes. Vermicelli soak into liquid contain 400. Millimeter of chicken broth. Then add in 200 millimeter of hot water into vermicelli. After 30 minutes, remove salted water from tofu. Then cut tofu into pieces. Then fry tofu until golden brown for use later. After 30 minutes, remove salt water from clams. Then rinse and wash clams again. Rinse and wash cut fish belly. It has been cut into slices. Add dry fish belly slices. Let's give some flavor to fish by adding in one teaspoon of Shaoxing wine. Drizzle of white. Pepper powder, half teaspoon of sugar. Add in half teaspoon of salt. Mix well all seasoning with cut fish belly. Let's look at the ingredients for today's cooking. Crunchy cup fish belly, 300 gram. Fried tofu, 200 gram. 100 gram of vermicelli soaked into chicken broth. 400 gram of clams. 30 gram of shallot cut into slices. 40 gram of Ginger cut into slices. Ten gram of chili chunks. Forty gram of garlic stems cut into pieces. Forty gram of Chinese celery cut into pieces. One tablespoon of chili bean sauce and one tablespoon of hoisin sauce. Mix two type of sauces. 
until well combined. White pepper powder, Shaoxing wine or Chinese cooking wine, soy sauce, oyster sauce, and sesame oil. In a hot wok, add in 1 tablespoon of cooking oil, then wait until oil is hot enough and add in slices of ginger and shallot and sauté with medium heat. Add in the sauce that we mixed earlier and sauté together until full of fragrance. Keep on using medium heat and add in clams and sauté together with medium heat. Add in also Chinese celery and garlic stems. Add in crunchy cup fish belly and around one bowl of chicken broth and sauté together. Keep on using medium heat to sauté together for 5 minutes only so that fish and clams are half cooked only. On the other hand, heat up the clay pot, then add in slices of ginger and sauté until full of fragrance. Sauté until slices of ginger golden brown and add in shallot and chili chunks and sauté together. Sauté together with medium heat until full of fragrance. Add in vermicelli and chicken broth. Then add in clams, fried tofu, crunchy cup fish belly into the pot. Close the lid and simmer with medium low heat for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, let's give flavour to the seafood pot. I use around 200 ml of chicken broth from cooking clams and fish belly. Add in 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce. Add in 1 tablespoon of soy sauce. Add in 1 tablespoon of sesame oil. Drizzle of white pepper powder and mix well all the seasoning. Then pour the sauce onto the fish, clams and tofu. Close lid of the pot and simmer with medium low heat for 5 minutes. Then I add in 1 tablespoon of Shaoxing wine around the lid of the pot to increase flavour. Five minutes later, seafood pot is ready now and full of fragrance. I like to add in some coriander and scallion as garnish. Vermicelli 
has absorbed all umami flavor from clams, and the texture of crunchy carp fish makes the pot super delicious. Here is my recipe for today's cooking. Let's give it a try. Thank you for watching. See you again in our next video. If you like this video, please click subscribe and like. Your subscription and like are my motivation to keep on posting new video. Please share this video with friends and leave us comments. Bye bye.